Hi there, this is my um, next scrapbook, um, finally, sorry I've been so long, I've actually moved house, um, so it's been a bit manic the last couple of months, but finally it's here. So this is Bulgaria, um, I actually went skiing there because my boyfriend was working out there as a ski rep, so it was something different for me, I've never been skiing, I've never been to Bulgaria, um, so it's brand new for me. So this is my front cover, again it's like Tenerife, um, Sarah from Scrapbook My Memories, managed to get me a nice picture of Borovets, which is where we went um, and so she put it on the cover with a nice green ribbon as well so I really like that um, so again pretty much exactly like um, my other ones this is a map of the ski destinations in Bulgaria and um, I deliberately did the ski one that I did have one of the actual country of Bulgaria but I just thought because it's a ski album it's better to be the ski one because I might go back to Bulgaria just as like a summer destination so we'll see <coughs> sorry um so again this is just alphabet stickers that I got from ESK um I really had to pull together to get these hi Mills. don't don't bite me don't bite me um because I didn't have any L's so I had to use an I and I didn't have any A's so I had to use a E and put it upside down so that's a really pulled together to try and get them um, all the same. Sorry about my kitten. Yeah, I got a kitten. So he's just always a bit clingy. So this is the sort of title page as such. Um, having looked back at my scrapbooks, I started off really basic. Um, as we go through, you'll see that they do actually get really sort of chunky and really sort of too much detail as such. But um this just explains that why I went out to Bulgaria. This is like a sign that was on the ski slopes saying welcome to Borovet. So I thought that was a nice one to put in there. These are just some photos that um, when I was walking around the resort, I could, um, you know, I just thought it was really pretty. All the trees were covered in snow. Um, it was really quiet. It was really calm. And I really enjoyed it there. Come on, Moose. I like it. So this is actually when I went skiing, so I was a bit petrified to go skiing for the first time because I'd never done it. I don't really like doing things for the first time because I don't want to embarrass myself. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It was nice and warm. I was with a group of people that had never skied either before, so that was quite comforting and quite, you know, I knew that I was in the same boat as them, which was nice. But the snow was actually really good when I first arrived, but it did start to drop off a little bit. Um, so I'm glad I did it the first week. Um, so these are my skis. Um, and this is my ski instructor as well. He was really good. He was really patient. Um, he just sort of let us do our own thing as well at the end of the day. So once we'd done all the lessons and things, he would say, like, you can either go or you can, you know, I'm quite happy to let you carry on and things like that. So he was lovely. Um, and I think I was actually quite good at skiing, to be honest. So these are just some more pictures. This is at the bottom of the slope. This is the top of the slope. Um, it was quite relaxing skiing. It did actually get you really warm. I thought it was going to be absolutely freezing. So I packed all this thermal gear and I didn't actually use half of it because I was so warm. And then this is just the ski instructor co uh, card. So it was Tony um, who taught me to ski. And this is just the card that I got given when I got given my skis and my boots that I need to um, make sure that I knew which ones I needed to hand back. These little trees were so cute. I got them from like a little independent stationery shop. I just thought they were perfect for the trip. So I got a few of those and stuck them in. This was one of the excursions that um, Joe, my boyfriend, led. It was called Candlelit Walk and basically went through this forest um, where they told all these different stories about history of Bulgaria and of Borovets. And at the end you went to like a typical Bulgarian little house and had a meal, which was nice. Um, so we all had these like fire things going through the woods and it was, it was different. I wouldn't have ever thought to do it, um, but it was lovely. It was a nice experience and as I said, it was... It's quite sort of daunting walking through the woods in the middle of the night with all this snow. And the snow kept falling from the trees, so it kept scaring everyone. And people think it was like animals and stuff. So this is just some more pictures of us walking through. This is the hotel that Joe worked in and lived in, and therefore I lived in whilst I was there. It was lovely. It was called the Lion Hotel. Um, we actually stayed, well, I actually stayed half bored, but I didn't really eat there that much. Um, Bulgarian food is not my favourite. Do apologise if it's your favourite, but it was just I, did, I just didn't like it very much. I um I couldn't really find anything I, that I liked. Um, like for breakfast, they were serving like carrots and peas and things, and I don't eat that for breakfast. So, um, I did in, didn't eat as much as I thought I would whilst I was there. 
Um, this was just like a nice statue that was outside one of the hotels that I put in there. So this is just a couple of photos from the resort. The resort is really quiet. <clears throat> Sorry. The resort is really quiet. It's like a triangle. So you'd walk up this road and you go across and back down. So um, it was quite small, but it was nice. It had nice little log cabin bars and, you know, little homemade tavernas and things like that. So that was nice. And I actually really enjoyed walking around there just while I was finished, waiting for Joe to finish work. This was just a receipt from something. It's all in Bulgarian, so I have no idea what I bought, but it's... Um, I like keeping receipts. Hopefully they won't fade. Um, I'm going to start photocopying them actually because I'm, I'm worried about them fading. But I do like keeping receipts because I like seeing what I bought and like seeing how much things were and you know on the local currency and also the local sort of language because you can see it's all in Bulgarian. Um, just nice little pictures that I got and I stuck in. This is when we went up to. Um, one of the ski slopes, one of the biggest ski slopes that I wouldn't dare go down. Um, this is a trail map, so as you saw when it comes out, it actually comes all the way out. Um, so it tells you what slopes are where, you know, emergency information, what you need to do if something goes wrong. Um, so yeah, so that was quite nice. And then, oh, sorry. And then, again, this is a ski scope at night. So people actually did do night skiing. I don't think I'd dare do it because I'm so worried I'm going to crash into someone. Um, but people did do it up and down the slopes at night. Um, and then this is us in the cable car. The cable car actually went up and down. Uh, it took about 20 minutes, it was quite long, but these are our tickets for it. This little scan, that's the back of them. So um, it was nice. It was like little red cable cars that you can see here. Um, they went literally up and down this all day round and round and round as I said it was about 20 minutes so it was quite a nice little journey and we had a pod to ourselves as well which was nice and then this is at the top so you can recognize this from the front cover um this is the top of Yastrobets I believe I'll probably get told off if that's wrong I think it is so yeah so it was really lovely it looked bizarre because it looked so close yeah it looked so far away um but it was really pretty really scenic yeah, so this is definitely Yastrobets, so I'm probably going to get told off if that wasn't, but <laughs> this is definitely, definitely Yastrobets. So this is where we got the cable car up to, um, so it just stretched for absolute miles. Joe got a beer up there, um, I do like that photo of him with the beer, so we had a nice drink up there. It was just before Joe went to work, so we didn't spend too much time up there, but just added some more trees, and this is just some of Bulgarian coins that I got stuck in there. Um, this is just a really cheesy page. We always do this. We always, whenever there's something pretty or you know a key landmark or something, we always take a picture of us kissing. I don't know why it's just become sort of a tradition, but that was quite nice. And then one of the days I was a little bit bored and I was just waiting for Joe to finish work. I ended up seeing the Borovets European Cup, uh, people competing and doing the award ceremony. So I just stuck that in there. So I thought that was quite nice. A bit something a bit random to all come across. And um, this was like a little log turned into a man which I think is cute again this is just me wandering around the resort and sort of just taking photos I love this because this is like a the weather forecast in stone where basically it's like you know if it's white on top it's snowing you know stone gone tornado and things that made me laugh I like that and then this is just um Bulgarian note of two um I think it's only worth about like 80p or something like that um we went for a night out at Mamacita's which is a Mexican restaurant Joe actually worked it, so he's in uniform, but because he was working it, and there was quite a lot of people there, and whenever they shout, shouted Ariba, Joe had to get up and get him some more sangria, so it was, a, it was a good laugh that night. And obviously that's us with the sombreros and everything like that, so it was a really good night, we really enjoyed that night. Um, I was with some people, these customers, that are really laid back and chilled, so that was nice. Obviously that's both of us um, with our sombreros on. This was the spa in Joe's hotel. Uh, this was actually his day off, so he had like these big pods where you could just chill in. That's me and chilling one. Um, so it was just nice, just to have a swim, have a chill out, and just relax in there. Um, it was bizarre in the swimming pool. Um, outside was all glassed, glass windows. So outside you could see all the snow, so it was bizarre to think you're in a bikini when there's snow outside. Um, and this is when we went for a meal. We went to a cute little place um, for a meal. I had this curry, I just remembered now, this curry I had, it was just normal chicken curry but it had oranges on the side and I'd never seen that before, so um, it was bizarre. And this was just views 
from Joe's window in his hotel room and I just thought it was amazing, all the trees and you know the mountains here and then the snow mountains behind, I just thought it was really pretty. So these are just some more photos of the slopes. These ones have come from my phone, the other ones have come from my camera. Um, so I printed these off separately because I realised I, I didn't probably print off enough. So I decided just to go back and print some off more off my phone. So these are just some more photos of when I arrived. And again, these are the these the horses that they have in Bulgaria. You can never so slightly see uh, the horses have like decoration and things, which I think is really cute. Um, it's all very traditional. And that's just us when we... Um, went out for dinner. I think that was that one to be honest. I think we're wearing the same outfit so it might be. Yeah I think it is. Yeah I think that was um, the day when we was going out for dinner just before we left. Um, and that's just a random photo. I just wanted to fill the gap. Um, this was actually when we went to go and see Armin van Buren. I'd never heard of him before in my life but Joe really wanted to go. It was in Sofia which was the capital of Bulgaria so uh, we drove. Joe drove his manager's car um, to the arena. Uh, it went on for hours. We got there at like half past eight, I think, and then we didn't leave until half past four. I had skiing lesson at eight. I was absolutely shattered. Um, but it was so good. It was it was a proper show. It wasn't just a band or anything like that. It was a proper show. So it like acrobats and you know dances and things like that, trampolines and everything. So that was sort of part of it before it started. And then obviously this is the girls that worked alongside Joe. Um, I did know Lexi from Zanti actually, so it was nice to catch up. Um, and then obviously this is our pictures uh, from the show. And at the end they dropped all these balloons, um, so Lexi really, really wanted one, so Joe's manager actually went off to go and find one into the crowds to go grab one, so that's us there. I'm actually really brown in this picture and I do envy myself right now because I'd just come back from Tenerife, um, so I was so brown. And then this is just the, the ceiling for dropping all the balloons. Um, so it was a really good night, but I was shattered the next day. I was absolutely exhausted for my ski lesson, but I just got home and went back to sleep. Um, and then this, I'm going to move this because I don't know why I put it on this page. But this is just uh, my well, my uh, ticket back to Gatwick um, from Sofia. So yeah, I really enjoyed Bulgaria. I would definitely go skiing again. Um, I love the atmosphere. I didn't... I would go skiing, but I wouldn't concentrate just on skiing. I'd probably go for the atmosphere, go for the more, you know, après ski sort of thing and do a bit more of the different activities as such. Maybe I might try snowboarding and things, but um, yeah, so that was Bulgaria. Um, I'm trying to do it as quick as I can because I filmed this video about six times now. It just never uploads, so I'm hoping it does do. Um, but I will be back with my next one. Um, hopefully very soon. I'm going to try and do them as soon as I can. Okay, thank you.